Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to break down a very important concept in automotive electronics that is soft reset in automotive ECU. In our previous video, we discussed about how hard reset works in automotive ECU. I have mentioned the link in the description. You can watch it. Okay, what you will get it from this video. So by end of this video, you will understand about what is soft reset and why ECU use a soft reset instead of a hard reset and what happens inside the microcontroller during soft reset and some of the real automotive scenarios and code examples for RX and Renesas RH850. So these all are the information you will come to know after watching this video. First we can start with what is soft reset. Soft reset is a kind of a reset which is triggered by a software not by hardware. But during this soft reset system restarts without fully powering off. And soft reset do not clear all hardware registers and peripherals may retain configuration depending on MCU architecture. As you aware, hard reset which is completely resets the hardware, power rails and hard reset will initialize the complete circuits. But a soft reset only resets the CPU core, program counter and system state. And while many hardware peripherals may retain their configuration but that is depending on our microcontroller design. If you want to understand very clearly about a soft reset, just think about how you are restarting your phone using your UI instead of not removing the battery. That's what soft reset it is. And how soft reset works in automotive ECU. So before start to see this, First, we have to understand about why automotive systems use soft reset. A soft reset is commonly used in a scenario like whenever the ignition is off, that means the KL15 is low but still battery is connected. This time, soft reset needs to be triggered. But during this time, ECU must store NVM data and have to disable CAN communication and boot and sever into sleep mode and then trigger a soft reset and another scenario is like recover from non-critical software fault example a task is hung or memory corruption is detected by safety monitor but watchdog has not expired yet then these all are the cases soft reset needs to be triggered and general use case like after OTA update or bootloader flow or after that means after writing a new firmware then a soft reset is used to boot fresh from the new software so these all are the normal use cases where automotive systems use soft reset now how exactly the soft reset works internally so the first important thing is software writes to a reset request register and this example i took it from a rx so this sets a software reset request flag in the system control unit. If you are already working on RX microcontroller, then this by seeing this, you can easily guess it. And another thing is CPU immediately jumps to reset sequence, but the power is not cut here. So the MCU reset all internal modules like stacks, peripherals, ALU. And it will clear CPU register and it will restart clock configuration and this will jump to the reset vector. The another one is boot room executes. Just like a hard reset, the boot room that means here it has to validate user configuration block and it will check the safety features like SMU and it will validate boot mode headers. And then it will start application. And another thing is 
software reinitializes the drivers that means m call or bsw perspective here i have mentioned some of the autosar startup sequence which is will, will get triggered so mcu in it port in it dio in it can in it com in it and rt start and application start so this is how the soft reset start to work internally and what is the internal flow of a soft reset that's what we have discussed now so software set reset request bit and cpu has to acknowledge us then reset controller performs internal reset and cpu vector jumps to this is an rx or a device specific reset vector just you can think about it how hard soft reset works in your microcontroller and startup code start to run and OS, M call, BSW, and RTE will get reinitialized. So, before I start to discuss about the types of soft reset, so first we have to understand about whenever the ignition is removed, then we will trigger the soft reset. But keep in mind that the ECU still has power, but software detect that KL15 is off. And now, what all are the types of soft reset in automotive ECU? The first one is system soft reset and application soft reset. And another one is MCU core soft reset. So in the system soft reset, here it will be triggered system level module such as reset controller module like your reset stat or RST con in RX and internal watchdog warning reset and software writing into system reset request register so what is the effect of system soft reset so it will reset cpu and plus some of the key system modules and some peripherals may retain state and ramp may or may not be preserved depending on configuration this is the effect of system soft reset and what is the use case of system soft reset? So here it will clean recovery after software fault and transition to sleep mode or shutdown sequence. This is what will happen in the system soft reset. And application soft reset. This will be triggered directly by the ECU application software. So example trigger is application request reboot or diagnostic service like 11 ECU reset time at the time we will have a sub function to trigger the soft reset that is like um, during ECU flashing at the time and software update completion then application will request for a soft reset so what is the effect of application soft reset so here CPU restart and software reinitialize peripheral states usually unchanged and network transceivers remain in configured mode. So, what is the use case of application soft reset? So, reinitialize application without losing peripheral settings and control shutdown logic. That's where application soft reset comes in the picture. And the last one is microcontroller soft reset. So, here it will be triggered from CPU level in instructions or registers. So, for an example, CPU underscore soft reset kind of a call or writing to a reset request bit or safety mechanism in RX SMU and uh, RH 850 uh, FCCE, these all are. So, what is the effect of microcontroller soft reset? That sometimes we are calling it as a CPU core soft reset as well. So, what is the effect of this? CPU core reset and program counter jumps to reset vector and safety and system modules may remain active. Now, what is the use case of microcontroller soft reset, safety reaction, restart after exception trap or controlled watchdog triggered soft reset. So, these all are the use case of MCU core soft reset. Here, I have mentioned the sum of the code examples for RX TC3X and Renaissance RH850. So, you can see here, first 
whenever the soft reset is requested we will disable the interrupts globally in both the cases it's the same activity but in rx before changing anything on or before requesting to change the register first we have to unlock end init for safety critical registers so first we have to call this function then we have to modify the bit then again for the reprotection safety register we have to again lock it then finally we'll have a wait for reset but we should not reach here but this is a just a one set of example flow how the soft reset code looks like but if you are already working on rx tc 3x then you can go and look for mcu perform reset function call and if you are working on renaissance rh 850 then things also in the same way but here we will modify the rst related things so you can see this is a simple example code for renaissance rh 850 but if you are working on renaissance microcontroller and just look in your project how the soft reset is handled now some of the automotive scenarios where exactly the soft reset will get triggered and one important thing is whenever the ignition is off there the soft reset will get triggered so here ecu performs the soft reset before going to sleep but always keep in mind that here only ignition is off but battery is still on then another scenario is over the air update so after flashing the ecu triggers a software reset but if you are working on classic ecu then in the case just go and look your ecu flashing sequence then you will come to know that when you need to trigger the soft reset and diagnostic service 11 ecu reset as i mentioned this is will be there in the during ecu flashing so tester will request a soft reset with the help of 11 service id and watchdog early warning so software intentionally initiates a soft reset to avoid hard reset so what all are the key points we have to keep in our mind so soft reset it will be triggered by software here there will be a power loss actually no because during a soft reset battery is still on but hard reset time there will be a power loss and the reset source is power on reset or brown on reset watch talk and reset pin the typical automotive use cases power cycle or critical fault but software reset is ignition off over the air and control reset so the soft reset is one of the most important mechanism in automotive ecu it allows safe shutdown proper low power entry and control reboot without disturbing the vehicle network so hopefully you get an idea about how soft reset works in automotive ecu so you can like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so much have a nice day